in the discussion of vascular neoplasms first we have to discuss about the benign neoplasms of the blood vessels in the benign neoplasms let me discuss about hemangiomas these hemangiomas are often described as the blood filled vessels so the tumors which are composed of blood filled vessels is the common terminology what we use to describe hemangiomas and these hemangiomas actually constitute 7% of all the benign tumors of infancy and the childhood this is the mcq point and these hemangiomas majority of them are present since birth and initially immediately after the birth they tend to increase in size but may eventually regress spontaneously while hemangiomas are typically or localized lesions which are confined especially to the head as well as neck region but occasionally they may be more extensive which is called as angiomatosis and may arise internally also but often they are external neoplasms often confined to head and neck regions and nearly if you see approximately one third of these internal lesions are found in the liver so whenever an examiner ask you the question what is the most common location for the internal hemangiomas your answer should be the liver and remember that as these are benign neoplasms and most common type when compared to that of all other type of vascular neoplasms the malignant transformation of these hemangiomas are extremely rare and here let us discuss about different types of hemangiomas and the first one will be the capillary hemangiomas out of all the different types of hemangiomas remember that the capillary hemangiomas are the most common type of vascular tumors this is the mcq point what you need to remember what is the most common type of vascular tumor it should be the capillary hemangioma in the exam that is what they will ask you what is the most common location what is the most common neoplasm this is how the examiner language will be so the most common location will be the skin subcutaneous tissues and the mucous membranes of the oral cavities and the lips as you can see in these images over here these are the most common locations for the capillary hemangiomas now after discussing about the most common locations we also should know about what are the least common locations least common locations will be internal anatomical areas or we can say internal lesions which are visceral in nature that is liver spleen and kidneys out of all the three also which one will be the most common internal lesion means your answer should be liver now when we discuss about the gross pathology of these capillary hemangiomas these are unencapsulated lesions measuring approximately from 1 mm to several centimeters and histologically these neoplasms comprised of a thin walled capillaries with a scant stroma this is the gross as well as histological picture of the capillary hemangioma after the capillary hemangioma the another variant of hemangioma is called as juvenile hemangiomas so remember that juvenile hemangiomas is a variant of capillary hemangioma it is not a separate type it is one of the variant of capillary hemangioma itself so this juvenile hemangioma is also called as strawberry hemangiomas or the authors often describe this as strawberry hemangiomas of the newborn skin which are extremely common and if you see the epidemiology which are seen approximately in 1 in 200 births and can be multiple also 
and when compared to that of normal classical type of capillary hemangioma these juvenile hemangiomas that is juvenile capillary hemangiomas often grow rapidly for the first few months of life but they begin to regress after one to three years after birth and they completely regress by the age of seven this is the mcq point juvenile hemangiomas completely regress by the age of seven they began to regress after one to three years which means initially after the birth they tend to be more rapid regression starts after one year or three years and complete regression can be seen by the end of seven years right this is about uh, the juvenile uh, capillary hemangiomas next one will be another variant of hemangioma is called as pyogenic granulomas the pyogenic granulomas is also called as lobular capillary hemangiomas so which means these are also capillary hemangiomas so pyogenic granulomas are capillary hemangiomas that manifest as rapidly growing when compared to that of other two what i already discussed these are rapidly growing and red pedunculated lesions on the skin gingival or oral mucosa these are the most common anatomical sites where we can see this pyogenic granuloma so why we are calling it as a granuloma because of the presence of exuberant granulation tissue you have to remember the sentence guys because the examiner will ask the same sentence in what type of hemangioma you will see the exuberant granulation tissue your answer should be pyogenic granuloma so often you will see an exuberant granulation tissue in this particular case and because of these anatomical location where they tend to occur they bleed easily and often ulcerated and approximately if you see the 25 percent of the lesions which usually developed after trauma reaching approximate size of 1 to 2 centimeters within few weeks after they appear and now let us talk about another one is called as the pregnancy tumor so whenever we discuss about the pregnancy tumor the name itself says that it is associated with pregnancy and it is also called as granuloma gravidarum so when i call it as granuloma gravidarum can i say that it is also a subtype of pyogenic granuloma but it is associated with pregnancy yes it is it is also a pyogenic granuloma that occurs infrequently that is approximately 1% of the patients in the gingiva of the pregnant woman and these lesions which are seen in the pregnant woman may spontaneously regress that is especially after pregnancy right or they may undergo fibrosis if these lesions are very extensive and severe but occasionally these lesions require surgical excision otherwise the regress automatically after the pregnancy